And now I know my heart is a ghost town. Before you came here, there was a whole um, yes, there was. petition and controversy and all <laughs> yes, that. Yes, there drama. was. So um, has, that, has that changed the way that you've prepared for the show? As well? I was actually flattered that people cared so much. Um, <laughs> I, uh, you know, listen, you know, over the past five years, Whenever I do a TV performance, I work very carefully with the producers and with my team to figure out what's appropriate for the program. So that's what we did for this. Yeah. yeah. I love that you're not afraid to push boundaries, push the envelope. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Do you think there'll ever come a point where you might get tired of creating controversy? I don't create controversy. Um, I think, you know, controversy is sort of in the eye of the beholder, I guess you could say. Um, I, you know, in the past, I did one or two controversial things on purpose, but I think my mission now is really honest and from the heart and real. Um, and I think, depending on where you're from in the world, certain things may seem controversial to you or not. Uh, my intention is not to provoke, but just to reflect, um, to, to be honest and to be real. What are your New Year resolutions for 2016? The second one is, how did you do in your 2015 re resolutions? And the third one is, what's the best New Year's Eve party you've ever been to? I actually don't remember. I can't remember what my resolution was last year. Um, maybe this year should be to remember your resolution. Uh, I, that would be a good start, wouldn't it? Do you still do resolutions? Not really, I've given up no. like about 10 years ago. I feel like, I feel like you know, my life is so, it's like so rapid, you know, like one day at a time. That's how I have to take it. I'm traveling so much. I get to perform all over the world. I sort of just... I just stick to my, my plan for the day. I'm just like, okay, today you're doing a show, and you're singing this song and that song, and put a smile on your face and try to make people feel something. Right. So, um, if anything, my resolution is to just keep moving forward and to keep trying to learn and to just keep trying to create. And the best New Year's Eve party I've ever been to, I don't know, it might have been in Mexico, in Cabo San Lucas with some friends. We had fun on the beach. Tequila. <laughs> How has 2015 been for you so far? It was amazing. It was really, you know, this album, the original High that I put out this year, um, you know, there was a second where I didn't know if it was going to happen or not. Um, I changed labels. I was sort of floating around in limbo for a little while going, mm, I don't know what my next project is. And when it all finally came together, I was so thankful and so excited. I worked on it for two months in Sweden and then finished it in LA. And as I was working on the album in between, I was going out and performing with Queen. So, you know, when, when it came time to release the album, I had just finished the, the world tour with Queen and I was very fulfilled from that and I felt very accomplished. Um, and so to release an album on the tail end of that was, it was a great feeling and I'm really proud of it. I think that it, um, it's very different from the Queen music, and I love that because I get to sort of live out both sides of my artistry. Um, you know, with Queen, I get to do amazing classics from the past, visiting you know great rock and roll, which I love, which I was brought up on, and then with my album, I get to sort of move into the future and look ahead and talk about things that are my experiences. So I feel really fulfilled. I get the best of both worlds. So would you consider that as your favorite moment of this year? One of, yeah, I mean, the Queen tour was definitely like, I can't believe this is actually happening. And, and to be received the way it was, was really validating. Um, so between being on tour with Queen and, and releasing my album and having Ghost Town, for example, connect all over the world, um, it's, been, it's, been, it's been like a victory. I feel good about it. I just noticed a nice tattoo peeking out there. What oh, I've gone, I've gone to town on this, these two arms, let me tell you. Do you have a full sleeve? I the, the sleeve. I, I'm working on the second one. I, I'm addicted. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. I think the key is when you find an artist that you really like. You go back to to this person. Yeah. Also. Like you know, thanks for Instagram. You know, you can find amazing tattoo artists all yeah. around the world. So I found one in London that I'm like obsessed with. And oh. He's been doing a lot of my work, and then I had a woman named Kim in right. LA who did this side and. Her, nice. She's an exquisite artist. Have you lost count of how many tattoos you have? Or well, I think when you get a sleeve, it's like it's not <laughs> it's about. Done. It's like a whole arm. It's That's not right. body part. It's like which part? Yeah, which half? Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. My heart is a ghost town.